the controller comes in an envelope from SAM devices and has three three things in it. it has the circuit board has a package here with your uh, chips and the ethernet connector and then a package of uh, just ports so let's open them up I haven't opened them yet all I did was cut the tape loose that secured them and what I'm gonna do once I get it out of here they come on this piece of foam and so I'm gonna stick them back on it because they fell off in shipment this way you won't lose them And there's one nut and bolt here. And it's used to hold this component. So we're just going to go ahead and put it on here so I don't lose the parts. I'm not going to tighten it or anything. Just going to screw it on so I don't lose it. Get these last couple stuck down. There we go. And that's the Ethernet connector. So I can set that aside. These are the parts that came in the bag with it. I'm going to dump those. I have a piece of foam that came with the last one. So I'm going to use that to put these on uh, these are all your capacitors there's in the last bag there was eight of them that size and that's what's or nine of them I mean and here's one here you only need eight but they give you extras on a few of these parts so don't be alarmed if you get to the end of your build and you still got some pieces left over you're supposed to. Now, a few of them don't get used at all. Well, I'm just going to stick them on this foam so that I don't lose nothing. Because it takes several hours. To solder one of these together and if you're not cheap like me you might want to just buy one already put together it'll save you a bunch of time but me I'm I'm too cheap for that so I'll put it together myself all right now there's five LED lights Three yellows, a red, and a green. And a few more capacitors. There's four of one size. And a larger one. Resistors, a crystal, and a reset button. 
Okay. That's those parts. Now in the bag. Which still has tape stuck to it. <laughs> Let's see if I can just pull it apart. There we go. Okay. In here you have these posts. And you also have these sockets that your uh, chips plug into. Now you don't have enough for everything. Uh, some of the smaller chips right there don't have sockets. They solder directly onto the board. And we have these different uh, types of plugs and sockets here. These solder to the board. These you connect your wires to your RGB light strings and then they plug into these when they're soldered onto the board. They just snap right down in. So we have 16 each of those and there's actually a few extra of those. At least where there was in the package I received before this. So I'm just going to separate those out. And there's also two larger ones. These are your power connectors. They solder to the board. You have the screws in here to tighten them down. So there's two of those. there's all of those you have one zip tie in here this is used on the Ethernet connector you have a socket that it plugs into but then you wrap this around to make sure it stays in I'll show you on my finished board here in just a second now we have fuses each one of the 16 uh, connectors for your RGB lights is fused. And there's one fuse. These are all uh, 5 amp fuses. They are stamped right on the top. And then there's one that's a two amp fuse. It's black. Well, that's it. It's kind of a smoke. But uh, this one is for the lower power. And we have more of these sockets. Let's get the rest of them all out of here. These are a, a smaller, they solder to the board and then they plug in. So we have a couple of those. Uh, we have several of these little jumpers. You'll see where them go later on. And these are the uh, fuse holders. They solder to the board and then the fuses plug into them. So that's all the parts. When it's all said and done, it should look like this. And it's not that hard to do. It just takes several hours to solder it together. Um, they swap out uh, some of these components before they're sent to you. So when you go online for the assembly manual, you may find that it talks about uh, certain parts with certain numbers 
and you don't have those because they've changed them for a different component they'll still pretty much look the same all your capacitors and such as that uh, the resistors those are the main ones that they've changed out and so I'm not going to bore you to death watching me solder for several hours. But what I will do as I get to each point where there's something that's different from the what the assembly manual shows, I'll show you that. And we get to the end, then we'll test it. Uh, so let's get started putting it together. <laughs> 